Hello everyone, Trophy Wine Hunter. Welcome back to my wine channel. Today I'm doing a review of the Giacomo Borgnono 2003 Barolo Reserva. And you'll notice that I do not have the bottle in front of me. That's because this is one of these quirky um, reviews where I did actually have the bottle at a restaurant called Lowry's in Hong Kong. So I did the review there and I was in the restaurant, so I did not bring back the bottle. But I thought I'd be, now that I have a little more time after my trip back from Hong Kong, I thought I'd do the review at this time. Let's talk a little bit about the winery. So Giacomo Borgnono was established in 1761 by Bartolomeo Borgnolo. Um, and I guess the actual name Giacomo Borgnolo was kind of um, finalized in 1967. But it's one of, I think it is the oldest um, vineyard in or winery of um, Barolo. It's 30 hectares of vineyards. The actual state has another eight um, hectares of um, forest. And um, it is basically um, the Borgnolo family has ma managed this estate for 247 years. They did sell it in 2008 to the Farinati family. And um, the Farinati family has decided to, with the new ownership, to go back uh, old school to how uh, the process, the Barolo process, the making of Barolo um, has been done in the past. Um, traditionally, um, the winemaker is a Andrea Farinati at this point, but because this is a 2003 wine, um, the management and the winemaking was under the Borgnolo uh, family at that point. I had this wine at Lowry's and I'll have a review of the actual restaurant at the end of this because it was a great price. It's about um, $1,200 um, Hong Kong, which is about $200 Canadian, a little bit slightly less um, in, at the restaurant. So I thought it was a great price. Um, the Because it's Barolo, it's going to be made 100% of Nebbiolo grape. It is kind of their um, blended Barolo. So the grapes come from three vineyards in Barolo, Canubi, Liste, and Fossati. They also produce a um, single vineyard Barolos from each of these. And I think they're also known for um, here locally in BC for their no-name um, wines. Um, I think it's a Barbaresco that they produce, but um, it's been a long time um, producer. Uh, Barolo Reserva. Reserva means I think that you have to age it in oak for four years. In fact, they have aged this wine in six years in Slavonian oak, and um, they have a further year in bottle. So here is the bottle, Reserva 2003 Borgono um, Barolo. It's a fairly simple um, design, but um, very effective. It's really nice bottling. I'm at Laurie's Hong Kong, and I'm reviewing the 2003 Giacomo Borgnono Barolo Reserva. It's on their wine list, great price on it. And you see this massive prime rib, but we'll do that in another video. It's been decanted for about um, an hour. Came out of the bottle really nice and fresh. It's nice and cold out of their cellar, so I've enjoyed that. It's nice. Um, the color is kind of um, still very vibrant, kind of ruby red. On the smell, you got um, tea leaves, you got loam, um, a little bit of earthiness, herbs, classic Barolo. Let's taste it. Man, this is a perfect bottle. It's all your herbs, dried herbs, mm -hmm. Italian spices, tobacco, earth. Now the tannins are coming through. I don't know, I, I'm gonna get the wine spectator rating on this, but my rating on this wine is like uh, 93 points. Spectacular. And it's gonna go great with this prime rib. Till next time, happy drinking. <laughs>